Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Showdown Battles. Today we're using the Mega Megros team that we built just yesterday and oh wow, did we build it quickly. We built it in like 12 minutes or something like that. But I still like the team. The team has nice tight balance, has good core, it isn't all that bad. So I mean, I'm, I'm kind of pleased, kind of pleased with it. So we're just gonna jump into a battle. Nothing was changed, the team is all valid. And I'm seeing a Metagross of their own. We don't have an amazing lead. That's one thing we don't have. I could see possible Blissey with Stealth Rocks. I could see... Possible Talonflame. So we're just gonna lead off with Gliscor. Leads off with the Cloister. Oh no. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> Um, hmm, we're just going to Toxic, because that Shell Smash was obvious, it was really painfully obvious, so we're just going to Protect, because obvious Icicle Spear is obvious, <laughs> and this is a terrible way to start off, this is absolutely terrible, um, this thing needs to stay around. This thing needs to stay around. If anything can live an Ice Spear, <laughs> it is the Metagross. So we're going into the Metagross and we're going to see if it can take out a Cloister that's set up already. We're adamant natured, we can Mega Evolve, we can go for a Bullet Punch. I'm glad we're HP invested, not speed invested right now, just saying. We're going to Mega Evolve, we're going to go for the Bullet Punch, and we're going to hope it does a good amount. It does a good amount. Okay, so Metagross, you know what? You did your bit. You took out a threat. Mega Metagross, I'm sorry this means that you probably won't be sweeping the entire enemy team. But at the same time, I'm incredibly pleased with what you've done. Um, we're gonna go back out into Gliscox. I'm not letting this thing die just yet. It has priority in Bullet Punch, it can easily kill a Blessy. Things like that. Oh. Oh. We're going for another Toxic. This guy is a full set up and destroy kind of person, and I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. I really don't. He goes for the Brave Bird, it does a lot of damage. We get another Toxic off, thankfully. So, that much is good. We can protect, because why the hell not? He's probably going to Sword Stance expecting it. He does. Oh well, there wasn't a whole lot we could do about that. We're going to go for a double protect, because honestly, at this point, why the hell not? Yep, Brave Bird takes us out. He gets a load of recoil. He gets some toxic damage. Ah. Ah. Talonflame. Um, he has priority because of... Priority, you know that. <laughs> he has priority because of the Brave Bird Gale Wings shenanigans. So honestly, we can't even go into anything with priority and hope. Which means Scumbreon is probably our best bet. Because it has high HP. And we're just going to Moonlight. And we're going to hope that that's going to be enough. On the off chance we survive. He has the Roost. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. Okay. Hold hold up. We're paybacking. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay then. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Um. Wish we were running stuff in a. Serenity does have the Focus Sash. But I don't want Serenity to die. I don't. Not when we can go into the Metagross. I'm sorry that you have to be sacrificed like this. I really am. Ice Punch is our strongest move. I, Yeah, Ice Punch is the strongest move. We'll just go for the Ice Punch. He's running Fire Blast. Sorry, what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay, at this point, we're not in a great position, but we can pretty safely go into Rafiki to hit all of the rest of his team. So, this isn't too bad for us. We have Pokemon that can deal with his Pokemon, at least. Ugh, that Shell Smash at the start, that wasn't the problem. That Talonflame was a problem. 
that sort of stance. If, if I'd known he was going to sort of stance, I would have stayed in, but I was just expecting straight up Brave Bird, Flare Blitz, that sort of stuff. So, right now, we're going to go for the Focus Blast. We're going to take out the High Dragon. One hit. There we go. Yes, Rafiki, you are a legendary Special Sweeper. Thank you, you're amazing. <laughs> I can only imagine the confusion just like, special? <laughs> That's not seen anymore. There's no priority. There's no guaranteed hits for fighting staff. <laughs> but I'm doing it. Okay, right now, this is where we go into Blizzus, I believe. We're going into Blizzus. Sweet kiss. Sweet kiss. Okay, we're just gonna go for the knockoff. I'm not gonna bother belly drumming when we're confused. As much as I would love to. He calm minds. Ooh. Calm minding. Okay then. Um. Well, I'm, I'm not belly drumming when we're confused. That is not happening. Dazzling Gleam. Okay, my confusion ends. Play Rough barely doesn't take out the Blissey. Barely. Okay. We're just... I want to just Aqua Jet. We're just gonna Aqua Jet. Okay. This is going really well right now. Venusaur is coming in, yes. What? No, it isn't. What? I... What? No. Hang on. What? Knock off. Why not? What? I... Venusaur. You have a Venusaur. Grass, super effective against water. Poison, super effective against fairy. You block both my stabs. Like, what? <laughs> How much did that do? 62.6%. Okay, we're just gonna Aqua Jet and get a little bit more baby damage off then. So... Serenity... Does outspeed this. It does. Rafiki doesn't. Which makes me want to go into Serenity and spam Leaf Storm. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do it. Why not? I believe. I believe in Serenity's power. Okay, it doesn't quite kill. That sucks. Psychic Hits does very little, actually. Okay. We're gonna Leaf Storm again. And we miss the Leaf Storm. That might actually cost us this game. If he bullet punches right now. He doesn't bullet punch. Okay. But still, that does not leave us in a nice position at all. We got special defense boost from his psychic. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. He power whips with his Venusaur. I really hope, Rafiki, is your flamethrower going to be enough to take this thing out? It is. There we go. We pick up our first win with this team. It was a close match. It really was. Okay, that was a good match. To the next one that's hopefully going to be just as good without the Talon Flame. Oh, there isn't a Talon Flame. Okay, I'm already a hell of a lot happier. There's a Garchomp, which Garchomp or Mew is leading. Three Psychic types. Three Psychic types. <laughs> just saying. Three Psychic types. So, because of what- we're just gonna lead with Scorpio again. Last time it worked out terribly. It worked out absolutely terribly. If he leads off with, like, the Cure in Black, I'm gonna stay in, because honestly, it doesn't get any ice type stab. It doesn't, at all. Not physical. It doesn't get ice punch. And that's weird. At least I think it doesn't. Here's two Dragon types, three Psychic types. This guy. He's definitely got his mind set on what he wants. <laughs> No, he has three dragon types. Like, yeah. Oh my god, three dragon types, three psychic types. What is this guy doing? <laughs> oh my god. We're gonna set up Stealth Rocks first turn, because they hit his team pretty good. Pretty good. Yep, that's the one. We're gonna also Toxic that thing, before it starts setting up. Yep, saw, you th saw that set up a mile away. And we're going to go for a knockoff. Because he, he isn't gonna one hit us. Knockoff's gonna do a little bit of damage. We get hit by the rough skin, we get rid of his focus sash. Okay. We're going to protect, because why not? The protect pays off for us. He loses a lot more health to his damn 
thing. I don't want to knock off again. Because that way we will probably die to the rough skin. So we're actually just going to hit toxic again. Right, right. Hear me out here, right. That way he's going to lose all his health to toxic. And I can just protect this turn. And we can be good. We're all good. If he swaps out at this point... He actually swapped out. He actually swapped out at that point. I mean... We can protect again, so sure, why not? Are you going to calm mind? No, you're going to defog and get rid of all of the rocks. But you don't get rid of the rocks because I've protected. <laughs> what? I want this thing toxic, so it's going to... Oh, I was not expecting him to go for that approach. I really wasn't. Right. He's at half special attack. We have many, many options. We could go into Serenity and start Leaf Storming. We could go into Bleezus and set up a Belly Drum. We could go into Scumbreon and start Cursing. I'm going to go into Scumbreon and start Cursing because this actually has type advantage and this is very likely to make him swap. He doesn't swap. We get basically a free turn of Curse. Okay, that's good. We can Curse again. This, this is looking like this could be very, very powerful. Medicham, pure power, might hurt. He goes for the healing wish. The healing wish to bring back in the Garchomp and get it back to full health. The healing wish. Good plays. Good plays. Can't even be mad. We're just going to keep cursing. Because honestly, I think we'll win this stall battle because we have the Toxic on our side. So we're just going to keep casting. Okay. And this turn, we're going to pay back. He hits us. It takes like a third of our health. You know, that's really not that bad. Not when we're at three times defense and all this other stuff. That's really not that bad. We're just going to Moonlight. He goes for the Will-O-Wisp, that admittedly could be a hell of a lot worse. Now he can't Toxic us. That was a very, very, very bad play. We're just gonna hit Payback again. I'm not gonna go any further than three times attack and defense, because if I go any further, it just feels, it feels excessive at that point. That doesn't need to be done. But I would like to one hit that meta champ. so actually, yes it does. Because that thing's just gonna heal up, I saw that coming. And it's only because he's healing up that I feel like, you know what, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go for another curse. Taunts us. Taunts us. Goes for the taunt. Can't even be mad, that's a good play. That is a very good play. So we are stuck just going for payback. And at least this should take out the Mew. Yeah, Mew, Mew's down. So, Scumbreon, you did your job, I guess. I mean, you took out, like, three Pokemon. That's that's good enough for me. I can't even complain. Medicham was obviously going to come out. Um, we're going to go for the Moonlight on the off chance, because, honestly, why the hell not? Um, we're going to lose even more health to burn. We're just going to click Payback. You know what? Sure. He went for the Bullet Punch. If that didn't crit, that would not have killed. It wouldn't. It would not have killed. And that's really annoying. Now, what the hell do we go into for this? We go into Blazus. Because Blazus has Play Rough. I'm not belly drumming because he has priority and bullet punch and stuff like that. He goes into his own Azumarill. Okay. It gets an attack debuff. <laughs> that kind of sucks. Um, we can. And he leaves. He leaves. There we go. That's another win for us. We'll do at least one more match with this team. Oh, this is going well. This is going well. Mega Metagross, you're not really seeing your chance to shine, but this is still going well. Um. Ah. <laughs> he has ah, 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 ooh, e. Okay, what can we do against ah? We can lead off with... He, what's he leading off with? Garchomp, he... Tr pretty much anything. Pretty much anything he likes. Maybe Mandibuzz, maybe Heatran. We're just gonna lead off with Steven. You know what, that... that's... That's not too bad for us. That's not too bad. We can meet your mash. 
Moon Rising. I wonder if this guy's getting Pokemon Sun or Moon. I wonder. Okay, he just goes for the Waterfall. That isn't too much of an issue. We can just Meteor Mash again. I don't care if he goes for Aqua Jet damage. He swaps out into the Heatran. Okay. Um, we outspeed. We are running Earthquake. That will one hit the Heatran. Unless this Heatran is Choice Scarf, which would be the strangest thing I have ever seen in my life. His Heatran is Choice Scarfed. His Heatran is Choice Scarfed. What? 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 <laughs> if he goes back into the Azumarill, I'm bullet punching. He had a Choice Scarf Heatran. That is, that is new to me. I am not running Zen Headbutt. It's only just occurred to me that I'm not running Zen Headbutt. Admittedly, the typing isn't really all that useful, but still, I'm not running it, which is weird. We can at least get Meteor Mash damage off on this Venusaur, so I mean, this is fine. This is completely fine with me. This is, this is better than fine. This is great. This is wonderful. The Hidden Power is super effective on Metagross. I'm guessing it's Hidden Power Ground. So we're gonna just, we're gonna, you know what, we're just gonna go into Rafiki and we're just gonna hit Flamethrower. We're not gonna overthink things. I think it should still kill. Goes into the Mandibuzz, thinking that we're going to be physical. Focus Blast will kill. I think. We're just gonna Nasty Plot. He swaps and we get a free Nasty Plot. Oh, but we, we can't really hit this thing for anything. Okay, we're just gonna go into Scumbrion. Nasty Plot was a bit wasted. We're immune to the Psychic. Um, we can get a free Curse. This is looking good. This is looking like this game is playing really into our favour, but I'm... He's not out with it yet. Choice Scarf Heatran. That... Choice Scarf. Choice Scarf Heatran. Just saying. That that was something he did. Is he Toxicking right now? If he's Toxicking right now, I'm going into Scorpio. I don't think he is. He isn't. Oh. Oh. We will just go for another payback. Synthesis. Synthesis. Okay. Time to set up more curses, I guess. Is he really not running toxic on this thing? Because if he isn't... But he c At least it's just standard poison. I mean, it could be worse. It could be toxic. At least this is only going to take 12% of our health every turn. I mean, that's okay with me. This is a stall battle. I am pretty sure I will win, so... I hate Scumbrion. I absolutely hate it. I understand it's a very, very stally way to play. It's a bad way to play. But it's a way that works. And sometimes on a team like this, you know what? You need a little bit of stall because the rest of your team is so hyper-offensive. I mean, the only things that aren't hyper-offensive are Umbreon and Gliscor, which is my core. My core is very stally. I don't like that. I would like that changed. It's too late for that now though, so let's just go. Come on, all, the, all this stalling? Come on, look, I, I have Pokemon Tournament to play, come on. What what do you think you're doing here? What do you think you're doing? Um, we're at three times defense. Do you really think a player off is gonna kill? If he goes for the Belly Drum, he can't Belly Drum, he doesn't have enough health. What are you trying to do, Azumarill? What are you trying to do? Are you running Power Up Punch, Azumarill? I've always wanted to actually try it, but I've just never thought it'd actually be useful. Please, please, you ran a Choice Scarf Heatran. Do it. Power up punch me. You know you want to. I want this Bleezus to sweep. Come on. He's, he's thinking, he's really thinking. Is he gonna try and Waterfall flinch me? Is he, is he, is he contemplating suicide? Is he looking out of his window, looking at all the birds and the trees, and, uh, and, and what are you doing? Aqua Jet. You took all that time to Aqua Jet. Time to Payback. At this point, Payback will probably do more damage than Toxic will, so we'll just Payback and yes, there we go. Nice, simple, easy. What's he going to go into now? Because this thing pretty much destroys the rest of his team. Garchomp, maybe? Set up some sword stance. Now he goes into the Mandibuzz. Okay, we're toxicing it. Taunts. Taunts. 
Time to pay back it, <laughs> I guess. And he's just gonna roost, and payback's gonna do very little. Is he Rocky Helmet? He is Rocky Helmet. He should have just gone into this thing a while ago, to be honest. Payback's gonna do very little damage. We're gonna go down to the Toxic. After all that, though, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad at all. We can go into Bleezus now. So, he has Torn, Roost, Foul Play, and I'm guessing Toxic. I'm just gonna guess Toxic. We're just gonna go for the Play Rough. I saw the Venusaur coming in, so I decided to go for just pure damage. There was a chance he might stay in because he was physically defensive, but... Oh well. We can pretty safely go into our Gliscor on this thing, as far as I'm aware, because it didn't... Yeah, we, we can take hits reasonably easily, so it's not the end of the world. We can set up the Stealth Rocks as well. Why the hell not? This Pokemon, this Venusaur is a problem. This Venusaur might actually win him this game. It could very possibly win him this game. Unless I can get, like, a Nasty Plot up with freaking... I have to get a Nasty Plot up with Rafiki. And even then, I don't know if a Flamethrower is going to kill. We'll go for the Nasty Plot. We'll see what happens. He might swap back into the Latias, actually. But either way, we need the Nasty Plot up. We need to try something. So if he goes into the Latias, I'm actually going to start flamethrowing the Latias. Although, yes, it's probably very specially defensive. He's thinking. He's really thinking. I swapped out last time because the Latias came in. There's still a chance we could get a Belly Drum up, up with Azumarill. And Leaf Storm Contrary is still a thing that might do some serious damage. So, I mean, we're not completely out of it. He does stay in. He does Sludge Bomb. That does a lot of damage. We get poisoned. Well, time to just go for the Flamethrower. That poison was absolute bullshit. That was not needed at all. Latias is gonna come in, take the Flamethrower. Yes, it does some good damage. I mean... <sighs> it's a little annoying. It's a little annoying, that's for certain. We can go into Serenity, though. And we can leave Storm, because it's what we have to do. Does very little, actually. I was expecting a bit more. This Latias needs to die, so we're just going to Dragon Pulse it. Get out of the way. We'll settle with two times special attack for a little while. Mandibuzz, are you going to come in? No, Garchomp comes in. Okay, this is the one thing. Is this Choice Scarf? Choice Scarf Fire Blast, but it doesn't kill. He gets the burn. Well, this is... There is no way for us to win this now. There is no way for us to win this. I clicked Belly Drum just on the off chance, you know, he decided to misclick on Synthesis or something. Okay. I'm not gg because he put easy in the chat, so that's gonna be all for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below. Hit that subscribe button, it really helps out, and without further ado, Bye!